The situation in Bangladesh is volatile. What's going to happen to the future of the country, we will discuss. But more importantly, former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, who just resigned, is on her way to New Delhi. I'm being joined by former Foreign Secretary of India and former High Commissioner of India to Bangladesh, uh, Ambassador Harsh Ringla. Uh, the, the fact that this has happened at this point in time, at this juncture, uh, Foreign Secretary Shingla, what is it that, in your assessment, is the situation on the ground? Well, we've been seeing that, uh, you know, the agitation of the protests, which began in a peaceful way, gradually sort of became uh, turned violent, but also increased in terms of size and in terms of the number of people who came out on the streets uh, until it reached its, uh, you know, culmination today. Uh, in, uh, you know, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina leaving the country and uh, the military ushering in, uh, you know, martial law with an interim administration uh, that has been announced. Uh, I think in a certain sense, uh, you know, the situation or the standoff as it was between, uh, you know, the government and the protesters uh, could not have been uh, sustained without further bloodshed and conflict any longer. Uh, Prime Minister uh, Sheikh Hasina's departure, in a certain sense, uh, you know, um, preserved um, the uh, um, situation uh, without uh, further deterioration. And I think from that point of view, um, you know, at least uh, uh, there has been, uh, um, uh, one could say, uh, an outcome uh, for the time being, which has uh, not taken uh, the country uh, you know to the very to the very edge that uh, prime minister or uh, former prime minister uh, sheikh hasina is on her way to new delhi she will she be engaging uh, officials at least senior officials from the government will that really happen even if it's a very short stopover sorry i can't hear you um, geeta it's it's breaking up now I was just asking whether if uh, the former Prime Minister, when she is in Delhi, will she be engaging or will the high-level government officials be engaging her, even if the stopover is a short one? Well, I, I'm not privy to, uh, you know, the uh, information um, with regard to how, uh, you know, the government would engage former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Uh, the fact that, uh, you know, she has reached a safe zone, the fact that she has been uh, evacuated safely um, uh, is, is an important uh, development. Uh, beyond that, it's difficult to say. Uh, I have no doubt that if she uh, comes uh, to India, she would be received and she would be, uh, you know, uh, engaged, uh, you know, at appropriate levels. Secretary Shringla, also the fact that um, we know that for India, it has been a very difficult time in the past when we've seen a BNP government in uh, Bangladesh. How will things change? What are the concerns? If you were in government today, what would your biggest concerns be? How would you be looking at the situation security-wise, political-wise, the economy and trade relations, all aspects included? Well, for India, uh, a peaceful, stable and prosperous Bangladesh. And I may also add a Bangladesh with, with a government, government that is uh, not inimical to India's core interests is, is very important, considering uh, the fact that Bangladesh is not only a close neighbor, uh, but also is uh, a country with whom we share our longest uh, land border uh, in the most uh, strategically critical part of our country. It connects with not only Bengal, but the northeastern part of India. And from that perspective, uh, you know, when the relationship is good, uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, gains and mutuality of benefit. But when the relationship uh, is, is uh, not uh, at the best, uh, Bangladesh can be, uh, uh, you know, uh, a very troublesome neighbor. And we have seen uh, in the past uh, that there has been support for insurgent groups in India. There has been support for terrorism. Radical and fundamentalist ideas have come across the border. And uh, it has also contributed to instability in our Northeast. Uh, that is something that we cannot uh, afford to see repeated. Well, this is one situation of one government, uh, Secretary Shringla, where the West, particularly the US and India, have not seen eye to eye. Is this a crisis that you'd say was in the making? Well, uh, you know, it, it's not necessary for us to see eye to eye with all 
you know, uh, world powers. We have our own views. And in our neighborhood, we believe that we, we know our strategic interests best. And as far as we are concerned, we will do whatever is in our national interest. Uh, the government of Prime Minister Modi is uh, very clear that, uh, you know, um, our uh, immediate neighborhood is the most critical part of our foreign policy. So we have neighborhood first, but Bangladesh was also covered in, under our act, East policy. And uh, we had a very strong engagement uh, with that country and we should continue to have a strong engagement with uh, Bangladesh. Uh, and, and as far as we are concerned, uh, you know, other countries can have, have other views. Uh, we have a dialogue with many of our friends and partners on issues that uh, are of, uh, you know, uh, regional and global interest. And we always try to convey our point of view to uh, the United States and other Western powers uh, on as far as Bangladesh is concerned and the importance of maintaining uh, peace and stability in, in that vital part of our region. Um, you've studied, you've followed, and you're a, you're a Bangladesh hand. So, Secretary Shingla, my last question to you. Do you see this as a prolonged crisis or do you see it come to an end anytime soon? What's your reading of the situation? And does this mean the end of the road for Sheikh Hasina or uh, can never say never in politics? Uh, first and foremost, uh, you know, the situation is still evolving. I think the situation is far from clear. Uh, other than the fact that, uh, you know, the chief of army staff of Bangladesh has announced an interim government, uh, we don't know any details, we don't know any further details. And I imagine that he would also be in the process of formulating, uh, you know, what sort of an administration this would be, what would be the composition of such an administration, how long will they be, um, you know, um, uh, taking interim charge of the country, what are the plans for, uh, you know, a political viable political settlement as we go along, how long will this process take? I imagine that any interim arrangement should not be a, a long-term arrangement. It should be one that is adequate to prepare a conducive environment for the restoration of uh, a democratic process. But, uh, but at the same time, uh, it should not be prolonged. Uh, as far as uh, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is concerned, I mean, I think uh, when they say, uh, when they talk of politicians, they, they, they say there is no uh, you know, there is there is uh, no end to your, uh, you know, political career. You can always come back. You can always, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, make a re-entry into politics. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's difficult to say. Uh, uh, after all, she has seen a lot of ups and downs. She's been in power on a, more than one occasion. Uh, as you know, that she had some very, very tragic circumstances when our entire family was wiped out in 1975. But she did come back to power in... 1991, then she was out of power in 96. She came back to power in 2008. So it's been a you know up and down and long struggle. So situations change, circumstances change. Uh, it's difficult to say. On that note, uh, Secretary Shringla, thank you so much for joining us here on yes, India Today Global. That was the foreign, uh, former Foreign Secretary of India speaking exclusively to the India Today Network.